Hello, I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to be testing the new Drobo uh, B1200i. As you can see, we have quite a few Drobos uh, in the lab. And one of the things I've uh, liked about Drobo's new dashboard capability for a while now is uh, the ability to, to see all these units at the same time. Uh, you can see that the 1200i showed up right here. Uh, I will tell you this is a serious uh, business iSCSI device. It has redundant power supplies, three iSCSI ports, a separate management port. Um, it, it weighs hefty. It's probably the right weight for this class of product. Uh, there is a, uh, this is a product really meant for uh, larger businesses and uh, I was as I was installing it my first thought was I wonder if it's going to be as easy to use um, I was my mind was put at ease almost immediately when it popped right into our existing uh, dashboard display and so things are uh, uh, look like they're going to be working as normal during the course of uh, this test drive we'll put the B1200i through uh, all its various paces uh, we'll have a special focus on performance uh, since this uh, unit is, is really clearly focused at the, the probably the M part of the SMB space, maybe a little larger. So um, that'll be a key aspect. Initially, though, we're just going to do some comparisons with our existing uh, iSCSI Drobo unit, the uh, B800i uh, that we have still named a Drobo Elite from uh, predecessor product uh, a while ago. But uh, we'll do some comparisons of that. Uh, and then later on, we'll also be able to do uh, some comparisons with uh, some solid state storage that we have planned in the, probably in May. So first, though, let's uh, just take a quick tour of the interface and uh, set up a volume and get sort of the basics out of the way. So uh, again, as is always our case, we try to do these things without reading the manuals so um, to see how easy it is to use. So as, if we... Uh, Double click on the uh, B1200i icon, you, you can see we're set with a uh, uh, different options for the unit. We get an overview of the uh, system, uh, what the front and back looks like. Uh, right here we're looking at the uh, network ports. You can see that I have uh, all three uh, active here. And then there's also a management port and that's active as well. From the top, it'll give you system information, how long it's been up. You can see we've been up for about 32 minutes. Uh, once we put some load on it, we'll be able to see performance load. This is a new screen. Uh, this, was, this is not available in the other systems. It'll give us individual information about each drive. You can see that we have uh, five, five ter or five two terabyte drives uh, in the system. Uh, give us status of the power uh, supplies. You can see we have them both plugged in. Uh, status of the cooling fans. What speed they're running at. Uh, what their health is. Things like that. And then all the different uh, uh, other capabilities. Controller cards, commander cards, and again the, the network ports. So very complete information. I'll be very interested to see how the performance load icon looks. Uh, things like that. Um, but first, let's go ahead and create a volume. And we're just going to connect this directly to our Mac here. Uh, just to, uh, we'll use it for uh, just a quick uh, second copy of data for now. We'll set it up as 16 terabytes. We'll call it uh, and then once that's all been set we just hit apply took a couple minutes to complete the format of the drive uh, when that happens when that's complete you get a message saying that the drive has been uh, formatted and is ready. Uh, and now the final step is to mount the drive. So you can see we have it showing up here. Uh, some of its uh, 
more detailed information uh, appears in the panel to the uh, right there. So to mount the drive, all we have to do uh, is check this box. And you can see right here that uh, the second drive, if you will, shows up. And we'll just uh, just copy so a little bit of data over our client video production files are kind of big, so we'll send that over. It's about eight gigabytes or so of uh, almost nine gigabytes of uh, information. So put a little bit of load on the system, uh, and we can uh, go in and look at the status at any. And you can see that it's, uh, you know, uh, for a single system, not too bad. 95 IOPS, uh, 46 megabytes a second in throughput, uh, holding steady. So that's the uh, initial setup of the B1200i. We'll uh, finish the uh, getting some uh, scenarios put together in the lab, get some more servers attaching to it as volumes, uh, and then really begin our comparison between this and the B800i. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. This is George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland.